पंचायती राज इंस्टीट्यूशन इन स्वच्छ भारत ग्रामीण मिशन टू स्वच्छ भारत मिशन वॉज लॉन्च ऑन सेकेंड अक्टूबर ट्वेंटी फोर्टीन बाय ऑनरेबल प्राइम मिनिस्टर श्री नरेंद्र मोदी The goal of this mission was to make India clean as a tribute to the 150th birth anniversary of Mahatma Gandhi by 2019. The focus of this mission was to end the problem of open defecation. Under the campaign, a target was set to provide a clean, safe and accessible environment to society, especially to women and children. On the lines of Swachh Bharat Mission, Swachh Bharat Mission Gramin also started, which gradually became the largest behavior change program in the world. With the help of panchayat representatives, it has accomplished the impossible task by creating mass movement in the villages at the grassroots level. The hard work of thousands of panchayat representatives, employees and sanitation warriors associated with this program finally paid off. As a result, rural sanitation coverage which was 39% in the year 2014 increased to 100% by the year 2019. In all overall 10.28 crore toilets were built in all the states and union territories as of 2nd October 2019 all the districts of India have declared themselves open defecation free although the government's goal is not only to build toilets the effort of swachh bharat abhiyan is to build an india that is free from garbage and dirt so those villages have been kept in the category of open defecation free villages which is capable of sustaining open defecation free status permanently and following the guidelines given by the government for solid and liquid waste management this is the reason that after the success of swachh bharat gramin mission 1 Swachh Bharat Gramin Mission 2 was launched. Under this mission, the potential of the people and communities of rural India is being harnessed to take forward the sanitation programs and provide them employment opportunities. The following guidelines have been given to the panchayat representatives under Swachh Bharat Gramin Abhiyan 2. Toilets should be available in every primary schools, panchayat office, and anganwadi centers. Behavior change communication continues in the village. People should be aware of cleanliness. Information, education, and communication model should be used for cleanliness. If there are more than 100 houses in the village then a community sanitation complex should be constructed there. Effective solid waste management for at least 80% of households and all public places for solid waste management. Effective management of at least 80% of households and all public places for liquid waste management. Village has a system to collect plastic waste and segregate it from wet waste. Cleanliness messages displayed through wall paintings or advertisement in all schools, anganwadi centers, panchayat houses in the village. Provide separate toilet for men and women. There should be no garbage or water logging in public places. Guiding principles. Sanitation facilities should be extended to all new families and eligible families who were left out in the previous phase. The work of identification of such families will be done by the gram panchayat. Creation of community sanitation complexes for households who are unable to construct toilets due to space constraint or those who live as temporary populations 
priority should be given to the creation of community assets for solid and liquid waste management. The work of solid and liquid waste management should be improved through various schemes including Mandrega. Adhered to the three R's, which means reduce, reuse, recycle. Panchayat representatives to make people aware of the challenges related to garbage collection, segregation and management. Keep in mind that with the cooperation of all of us, we will be able to achieve the goals of Swachh Bharat Grameen Mission 2 and make the dream of a clean, healthy and prosperous India come true. Let's pledge today. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat.